Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. The Great Exhibition had three refreshment courts. Although J. Schwepp and company were the exclusive refreshment suppliers at the Great Exhibition, a privilege for which they paid the sum of £5,500, it appears they subcontracted the management of the courts. Here we can see that the first class refreshment court in the North Transept was managed by Mr. Young Husband. The placing of his sign under the royal arms may have been opportunistic, as we assume it was only Schweppes who benefited from a royal warrant. The basic layout of the refreshment courts is illustrated on this French plan of the building layout, which shows the counters on the west and east sides of the court, and the panorama views from the illustrated London News show some of the detail of these counters. Here on the west side, and here on the east side, you will see we have also added the colossal horsehead sculpture. At the Great Exhibition this was by Hamilton McCarthy, however we have been unable to trace the original piece, so shown here is a piece from the State Museum of Art in Copenhagen. All the refreshment courts were provided with conveniences. In this refreshment court the gents is on the east side, the ladies on the west. In addition to providing access to the very first public flushing toilets, when visitors decided to spend a penny, they also has access to a waiting room with washing facilities and a towel. Moving to the second class refreshment court, in the northwest, the British side, of the building. Once again the French plan shows the counter layouts. Unfortunately this is the only illustration showing this area of the building, so we have assumed a similar style to the main refreshment court, although note that this court is managed by Mr. Masters. Unlike the refreshment court in the transept, the roof here is just one story, so there are open courts either side of a central passageway to allow the elm trees to be retained. You will also notice brick walls on either side. The Illustrated London News wrote a quite critical article about the conveniences, presenting an unseemly appearance of brick walls, hitherto so strictly repudiated, which causes this to be one of the most disagreeable features of the interior. And finally, the third-class refreshment court, in the northeast, the foreign side, of the building. Once again we rely exclusively on the French plan for the layout of this court. Note this court also is managed by Mr. Masters. This also has an open court to allow the retention of trees. Note also, despite this being larger than the second class court, the conveniences are smaller, losing an 8 by 24 foot section to create a passage, perhaps that is what third class means. Join me for my next video, where, inspired by the French plan of the building, we start to add the exhibits in the French section.